Hey, so you have MSD Pro and want to add the quest manager and the map system into this map. I will show you how. First of all, migrate everything over to this project. And if you do, don't override the existing files. If you have done so, navigate to your game mode and open up your player controller. And let's add our map. World Map Manager Advanced. And Quest Manager Advanced. Now navigate to the game state, add, and add the game state tech mapper quest. And now for the map manager itself, to display the player on the map, let's add our player map element that's called EC AC map element dynamic player. Okay, so now is that added successfully. Now let's make sure to generate our map. So I press Ctrl P, search for map generator. Map texture generator, drag and drop it in. Navigate to the details panel. And let's try to auto snap this one to the landscape. Precisely. Click on these buttons right here. Press G to see, okay, what is the box of the map generation. And because in this specific map, we also have this small area that's just outside of this landscape. We could choose to say, hey, let's make it a bit bigger. So then we can manually adjust it here. So I've unchecked this Boolean and I am playing around with some values and clicking position corner points and then ah, it's there. So I'm choosing 35,000, click on position corner points and that's it. Now let's generate our map texture. And if you search for map render, I have preset some different resolutions. And for this one, let's do a 40, yeah, 4K or 2K. Both are fine. So when you have selected this render target, you can or move this box around a bit of the texture generator or click update capture. And if you open up the render map texture, this one will update with the map itself with the bounce. If it's too dark, uh, feel free to tweak the target uh, gamma right here. Like lower it down, and then it's black, but then you need to update it again uh, or move it a bit like this. And then it will update, oh, this is way too dark. Yeah, I like it like this, perfect. Okay, so what you do now is navigate to this render target, right click and create that texture. I've named it our own map texture. Uh, you can tweak values like uh, here on the right. You can also export this and adjust it in Photoshop or whatever. And when you have this one, make sure to select it here at the world map texture to load. So now when I press play, press M to open the map. And here we have it, our map. You can also see the compass in the top. Uh, you don't see a mini map right here, uh, but you can. Navigate to your world map manager or font when you play controller. Type in show, show compass, you can enable or disable it and also for the mini map. And that will make sure it's updated. Uh, so now <laughs> we have also a mini map. So now you would like to add map elements. Uh, let's add map elements on these enemies. I'm going to open them, go to the parent class. Let's go to AI leader and let's add map element dynamic NPC. Perfect. Uh, the name is NPC, etc. In the NPC settings, it's default set to aggressive. And now when we play, we see our enemies on the compass nearby. Also those. Uh, and if we are out of the radius, they will disappear again. Oh, apparently, oh, there's also there, there, nice. Perfect. Let's also add a fast travel preset. So drag and drop this one right here. And get the BP teleport location. Also drag that in the world. Make sure to position it the way you want it. Click on our fast travel location. Click on the map element. Navigate to fast travel. Say I'm going to use this specific teleport location. Nice and discovery. Uh, let's say it's already discovered. So 
that means. And to make sure to be able to fast travel, uh, uh, we also need a teleport component. So navigate to your player controller and do a teleport component on there. Perfect. So now if you press M, you can see our discovered uh, fast travel point. Oh, I see some outlining issue. And now we have teleported to this location and we can find it on the map. And we also find the NPC on the map. Oh, he's beneath us. <laughs> okay, nice. So now onto the quest manager, because now we know how to add the map manager, add map elements, things like that. On the game state, here on the tech map of the quest, we've assigned a linked quest data table. Just if you want to have multiple tests, etc., you can just switch it out right here. Uh, so just make sure to uh, check which one you have. Our current data table that we provided has some example quests in it, so you can open it up. I'm opening up the DT quest example. And here we have a couple of example quests. And I want to add a couple of uh, things to show you how to set it up in this world. Um, this specific uh, quest, the awakening example, you can see this one is set as the default quest right now in the quest manager of the on the play controller. So that one will start up when we press play. If we open it up, then you can see, okay, the first stages are uh, interact with something, pick up an item, and the second stage is defeat the tomb guards. So let's try and set it up really quickly in this map. The first one, arm yourself, open the gate. This one has two objectives. Pick up your weapon with this specific tag and exit a specific gate and open it. So let's set it up. This example, I'm going to remove the open gate because I don't have that one in this specific map. And let's first add our personal weapon. Already copy paste this tag and drag and drop a pick up and equip master in our world. I'm going to set this one to a dual hatchet. A legend, the old hatchet. Nice. Now I need to provide this one with a tag. We are going to fight the gameplay tag on this specific item of the quest ob object's cave personal weapon. So this one is now being triggered. Uh, currently, this quest is set as optional, uh, this objective, and I'm going to set it to non optional. The next stage of this quest is defeat the tomb guards with specifically these tags of the tomb guard 01. Okay, here I have two AIs and I want to specify that these one are the tomb guards. So in the world, I'm going to add a component, gameplay tag. Sorry, scratch that. Uh, these AIs already have a gameplay tag container on it, which is called enemy. However, we're going to add oh, the tomb guard tag into this container. So for this one and for this one, perfect, safe. And let's also set up the third objective, discover the family crest. And uh, that is a tag of the hyperborn emblem and also uh, this one has a quest marker so that's nice i'm going to search for bp trigger discover area and drag it in the world scale it up a bit yeah like this perfect and i'm going to provide an area tag and that is the one oh that's not this one but it is one because this objective listens to discover area we just dragged and dropped that box in there gave it that specific tag and this one will show a quest marker the other objective are the guards with a tag of the tomb guard itself and we need to defeat them and the first one is uh, get your personal weapon and we set it to non-optional uh, perfect. And just for fun, I'm placing this static mesh in this box so we can discover it. Okay, let's test this out. Right click, play from here. Ah, one more thing, sorry. In the quest manager advanced, uh, because I changed to a different quest data table, 
And this one is the tag quest, the uh, main the awakening quest only example. I said on the quest manager, this is the quest which I want to start. And now I can press play from here. It will show quest started, the awakening objective, pick up your weapon. We don't have a beacon for this one. If the weapon, nice, it triggers it. Uh, for the minimap, by the way, you can press plus and minus uh, to update the map. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. Defeat Doom Guards. Well, these Doom Guards, we get the tag. Oh, it doesn't work. Let me check. So I'm checking the data table, and currently this one is set to interact with Actor. But obviously, we need to kill him. So let's test again. Defeat the Doom Guards. Let's kill him. Boom. Boom. Nice. Okay, so in our quest system right here we can check the log and we see uh, that we've defeated both of them and now we have this trigger box right here and you can see this one is now shown on the map we can also track and interact this quest via uh, uh, the map system when we track it, it displays the icon also on the compass and also on the mini map and when we trigger this box now we have uh, 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 have completed that stage objective. Nice. So now you've seen how to add a world map system and a quest manager into MSD Pro really easily. The setup was only in a couple of minutes and defining some quests etc. It's also just being done in a couple of minutes. I really hope you enjoy this and if you have questions please always free, uh, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Bye. Congrats you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.